O'Brien Brian McKenna. Tetra Ski Express Ski Race. Very emotional. It's beautiful. It's an honor to be here. Changes lives. Is Brian here right now? He's absolutely here. He's watching and he's laughing and saying, this is the way I would have partied. Amazing, because he's here. <laughs> Hi, my name is Brian, I'm 30 years old, and I was recently paralyzed. Is it weird if I'm smiling when I say this? I knew Brian originally as a, as a patient, and uh, Brian is a really compelling human and an adventurer. He is also a, an amazing skier, and so he really pushed us in the development of the Tetra Ski and to make it uh, the best ski and the highest performance ski. He spent a lot of time crashing and working with us as the thing broke down over and over again until it became what it is today, which is an incredibly reliable device that is out there running, doing fast races. This is the first time a Tetra Ski has been officially powered in a race. You are witnessing history, everybody. And basically, it's a, uh, it's a technology that you can you can use from your mouth. You can do use a toggle switch, a sip and puff, and that same technology goes to wheelchairs. Brian's wheelchair was was a toggle switch. My life is this non-stop adventure. I have a positive outlook and try to make it fun because not having fun sucks. Lights will guide you home. Look at that. Crashing those gates. Nothing jive amazing. I couldn't stop smiling. And it's good to go fast again. Oh, it was awesome. It was pretty cool to get out you know, and ski. I hope uh, they can get more people out skiing and enjoy these, these beautiful mountains. Blues and blues. Coming down the course. Let's cheer Brian. Oh, so there has never been a race in history that I'm aware of uh, where people with very complex disabilities are racing on snow uh, completely independently. If you see any of the video of someone behind them, they are an emergency brake. It is a totally independent sport. It's the first time ever it's happening. This is the world's first event. We're going to do it every year. What a beautiful finish from Alan Walton. It's just a lot of fun. It's great to be out here making turns. Better than being at work. So, so it's awesome. It's, this is great stuff that these guys are doing. Really does change lives. Oh, and then, I don't know. Listen, you're, you're being competitive. Good stuff. <laughs> more competitive than I thought it was going to be, but it was awesome. <laughs> All of this technology is at the University of Utah. All of this tech came out of undergraduate senior design programs and then went to graduate programs and postgraduate programs. He's a trailblazer, and all the people that work with him are trailblazers and selfless, uh, wonderful people, dedicated, uh, just unbelievable. It exceeded my expectations by like a factor of 100. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, we knew we were gonna have a good time and it was gonna be safe, but it's really, it's not the race course or the skis, it really is bringing all these people together. That, that's really what, what made it for me. Just to see the technology actually just vanish and just it's just people out there skiing is, and racing and partying, is, uh, it's been amazing. It's an amazing place to live and work and innovate.